in this video we are going to see the selection sort algorithm uh, of divide and conquer which comes under the divide and conquer technique using the divide and conquer okay now as the name said a particular value is selected and it will be checked with the first value second value third value and so on and then it will be placed in the correct place so selection sort is an algorithm that selects the smallest element from an unsorted list in each iteration it will be iterated the if there are n number of elements each time it will be iterated from 1 to n and in each iteration a smallest element will be selected and it will be placed in its correct position that's what so in each iteration place of the element at the beginning of the unsorted list now we'll see how it works the array th now i'll come to this uh, statements later first i'll explain with the data and then when i come and explain this then it will be more clear to you here let us take this the value the array value which is in an unsorted position now you have to select one of the element the first element as the minimum then even if it is not minimum we are selecting the position a not as the first element so in the first pass smallest element of the array is to be found along with its index pos then swap a0 and a position so the first element a not will be taken and then that value will be checked with all the element in the array then whichever is smallest element that that will be found and it will be swapped with the a not likewise the second uh, position a1 is taken and the remaining element is checked with the a1 whether they are, uh, which is smaller so that smaller value will be exchanged with a1 and a1 goes there and so on now i anyway i will explain this again now we'll see this with the data to start with first we select a0 as the minimum now the compare this value with each and every value in the array so if the second element is smaller than the minimum now this will become the minimum now anyway whatever it is we are going to find the minimum value and that value will be replaced with the first position okay so this uh, like this we replace a second position third position and so on so compare minimum with the third element again if the third element is smaller then assign the minimum to the third element otherwise do nothing go to the next element the process goes on until the last element let us take this so these two are compared now this is smaller so now this will become the minimum again then the same data i have written here now since this is the minimum now we compare that with the second or next element now this is smaller than this so now minimum is becoming this then this with this minimum the other values are compared 652 no it is bigger 351 is also bigger than 179 423 it is also bigger so next it is compared with the eight, next element eight, that is also bigger then 254 it is again bigger 450 is bigger element 520 is also bigger element so uh, finally we have found that this is the minimum among this now what we have to do is we have to interchange this with the first element because just now we have started so the first pass so now what happened see here 310 this is these two values are interchanged so 179 becomes the first element that is the minimumest value is found and it is placed at the first element okay now we start with second element it is that now the next pass start 285 now we already we have sorted the first a not now a1 that is a1 is the uh, value which is at the index 1 now this value is taken and that will be assigned as minimum now this is compared with the next next element Now three ten is greater than six fifty two, then three fifty one, then four twenty three. All are greater than two eighty five. So there is no. Uh, still, it is the minimum. Then eight sixty one, two fifty four. When it comes to fifty four, this is minimum. Two eighty five is greater than two four. Now this has been made as the minimum element. So two fifty four is minimum. Then next, what happens? We compare this two fifty four with the next next element. That is four fifty and then five twenty. now still this is the minimum now what we do is this element will be exchanged with this so 285 comes here and 254 goes there so if you see the first two elements are now in a sorted position now we take the third element and then we compare everything so 310 652 no it is bigger then 351 
no bigger this is also bigger bigger then now here 285 this becomes the minimum so now this is the minimum and then uh, we are checking with 450 and 520 they are all greater than 285 now these two values are get interchanged 310 and 285 <coughs> and then 285 now we take the this value 652 that has the minimum then we compare all the values here it becomes smaller then this with this we compare all the other value now here it becomes smaller so 310 all the others are greater so 310 is exchanged with 652 now 310 is 310 goes here and 652 goes there so likewise we do all the comparisons the next so after that your uh, array looks like this if you see that the first of now it is sorted now the next one is uh, since we have done with that now we can take 351 then we compare then we compare anyway 351 is a smaller so it reminds that there is no exchange then 423 we take 423 as the minimum then we compare now when we do that what happened this is more greater 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 so it reminds in its place then 861 <coughs> here we take the 861 this as the minimum now now when we compare what happened this is smaller so we take that as a smaller then when we compare this 652 with this this becomes smaller and this is greater so 450 and 861 these two are getting interchanged now 862 is occupied here then after this so i just paste it is here uh, <coughs> this is compared with this is the minimum this is compared with 652 and then uh, this is minimum now it becomes then this is compared with 50 now this is become minimum and then this is greater so 450 is uh, since it goes there for 861 goes there so 450 is exchanged with 861 so after that is your array looks like that then now we take this as a minimum then we compare this now this is bigger then we compare this this is smaller so now what we do is we exchange this with this 5 20 and then here goes the value which is present there which is nothing but 652 then now this is over now we check this value now uh, we compare this this becomes minimum so now we exchange these two so 652 comes here and then 861 is that 61 yes so if you see this after uh, the next x pass uh, our uh, array is sorted completely so now we'll see the algorithm which are required only i am not getting input uh, uh, receivable and all i have not given i have given only the uh, method functions so swap when you pass these two they they will be swapped that is what we are doing here in this we are swapping all these things so for that this algorithm is used then selection sort we will see the selection sort algorithm here we pass the array which is an unsorted array then the size of the array here in the in this case one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten elements are there so size will be ten so from zero step to size minus one because it is ten so ten minus one because the index starts from zero so zero to nine which is nothing but ten elements and uh, then we have first minimum index in the first initial step first index is assigned as a minimum index then we uh, go through all the thing except the, uh, the from the Step, next step so that is why here we have given in that step plus one so zero means zero plus one the one is over means one plus one two from starting from two it will take so likewise then each um, each element uh, after the first element and second element third element and so on they will be uh, done with this they are checking we are checking whether this a of a current element is less than the uh, value which is present in the minimum index if so then that becomes the minimum index so here we are assigning that and so on so then finally what we do we exchange this is what we have done with this step so with the uh, outer for loop so that is what we have i have demonstrated uh, after completing that then the first value second value third value because this gives the 
this take one by one value from the array and then this will take care of comparing each element within that array then we are exchanging that then print array here yeah, print array is another function where we print the sorted array then uh, in this case if you see the complexity here number of comparison the first n minus one in the second after you take the second value a naught when you are comparing when you are taking a naught the a0 then n minus 1 comparison then when you are taking the second element a1 then you have to do n minus 1 and so on so the last we have one so if you write it as an expression n minus 1 etc etc it becomes n into n minus 1 by 2 and you have uh, when you say n squared minus n by 2 n you can take negligibly small then n squared will be the uh, complexity of this algorithm so the best case it is this n well, what is best case? Almost all the elements are already, if it is in a sorted, more or less sorted, then it will, within the n, uh, first we will get the answer. But here, average case, it is n squared, even the worst case is also n squared. Because that much number of times it has to pass. So then space complexity is, worst case is out of 1.